In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use patterning uh, an iPad drum machine as a MIDI controller to control drum sounds in Bitwig Studio. For MIDI connectivity, I'm using an app called Music.io, which lets you pass both MIDI and audio data between an iOS device and computer using a USB to Lightning cable. The first thing to note here is that I have Music.io running on both my iPad and my computer. And when you've got your devices connected using your USB to lightning cable, you'll see the state of the app change from disconnected to connected. Um, and for MIDI connectivity, that's all you need to do. Um, this will create a MIDI port called Music.io that will be available on both your iOS device and computer. So now let's go into patterning. And the first thing that we need to do in patterning is configure it to get clock data from Bitwig Studio. To do that, we go to the file view in patterning and we pull up the MIDI configuration dialog. In the top row of the MIDI configuration dialog, there's a section for MIDI clock um, config. And we're going to change that from off to receive um, to enable patterning to receive its clock signal from Bitwig Studio. To the right of the row, we get a little arrow that we can tap and that's where we select the MIDI port to use for uh, clock data. And we want that to be selected as music IO. So that's the setup on the patterning side. Now let's go into Bitwig. And so we want to go to the options menu and open the preferences dialog. And here's the controllers tab. From here, we want to add a generic one of the generic controllers and for clock information we add the MIDI clock transmitter. So I already have one added down here and here it is MIDI clock transmitter and this is configured to send data over the music IO MIDI port. You also want to make sure that you have your iPad added as a MIDI controller which I have here and I just added it as a generic MIDI keyboard and that's one of the generic um, controllers as well, MIDI keyboard. And again, that's configured to use the music IO MIDI port. Okay, so let's pull up the pattern view in patterning. And you can see that we've got a pattern programmed into the interface. If I play the project in Bitwig, we'll see that patterning begins to play its pattern. And if I stop um, the project from playing in Bitwig, we'll see that patterning as well will stop playing. So we've got the clock configuration set up now. The next step is to get uh, patterning to send MIDI data into Bitwig. And so to do that, um, we have an instrument track in Bitwig. And I'm going to add the drum machine device to the instrument track. And for the track input, um, I've got it set to all ends. Um, but I'll, I'll change this and we'll just specifically get input from the iPad controller. Um, going back over to the device panel for our instrument track, you can see that we've got an empty drum machine. So this is just kind of a shell of a drum machine, and you can see that we've got a grid of note numbers here. And this by default won't make any sounds because there are no samples mapped to the notes. But that's okay for now. Let's go back to patterning and the file view, and we're going to configure it to send MIDI data. To do that, we want to pull up the MIDI config uh, dialog again. Under the MIDI clock section, there's another section for MIDI track output. And in this section, we can configure the MIDI for each of Patterning's eight tracks independently. So I'm going to turn on a MIDI track output for the first track. And this highlights the row, and there's a little arrow that we can tap to pull up the configuration settings for that track. We've got the music or the MIDI port uh, configured as music IO. And you can also select the MIDI channel to transmit on uh, as well as the MIDI note message to send, the note number to send. So I'm gonna play the project in Bitwig again and we should see that Bitwig is receiving some data. And indeed you can see that a cell in the drum machine grid lights up and this is what's being sent by patterning into Bitwig. Again, we don't hear any sounds because we don't have any samples mapped to these notes uh, in our drum machine.
So let's fix that by loading in one of Bitwig's drum machine uh, drum kit pre presets. Okay, so now we hear a sound um, because patterning is sending uh, a MIDI note message into Bitwig. We've got a sample mapped to our the note in uh, our drum machine, and we hear some sound. So I'm going to turn the MIDI track output on for a few of the other tracks in patterning, and we should hear the drum pattern start to fill out um, in Bitwig. And so if we go into the pattern view and patterning, we'll see that the pattern is playing and we can see the sounds coming in or the, the MIDI note messages coming in into the Bitwig drum machine and they're triggering the samples and we hear the sounds. Uh, let me unmute one of the instrument tracks, one of the other instrument tracks in the project here and you'll be able to hear that um, the drum pattern is in sync with other tracks. And if we want to, we can change the pattern in real time and hear the change in sound in Bitwig. So there you have it. How do you use patterning as a MIDI controller to control drum sounds in Bitwig Studio uh, using Music.io uh, for MIDI connectivity?